And all new at four, we know vaccine requirements are changing the way we travel. And uh, Metcalf with Travel Agents International joining us live this afternoon. Hey, good afternoon, Deb. Thank you for being back with us. We know it's been a while, so uh, always good to have you. So let's we'll get right to it. Uh, what kind of rules could you tell us are in place right now requiring that proof of vaccination when traveling? And does that really change depending on if you're going out of the country? It sure does. Matter of fact, as you know, uh, in your, the EU announced that they have all these guidelines now for new country or the countries uh, on Friday, I guess before I even had a chance to look at my email on Saturday, Friday, there was already, already three updates, um, Amsterdam, Spain, and each one requires different things. It might be that you are, you have had the uh, vaccine and you can definitely go, but you still have to have the COVID test before leaving. Uh, it could be that that particular country is not allowing you to come to that country, no matter if you've had the vaccine or not. Some are it is a case by case basis. As you know, starting the 9th of this month, we're able to go to Canada, which is uh, a real positive thing. But right now, Canadians cannot come to the US. So everything is just uh, a very, very fluid. It is one of those things you have to check today to travel tomorrow, to travel, you know, in a, in a month, it could totally change. And that's what I tell people when they're going out of the country, you really, we really do have to stay on top of it. And we might have to look at it three or four times before the trip goes. Uh, the Caribbean is still open. Uh, Mexico is still wide open. Matter of fact, I just got back from Mexico last week and it was very, very busy. So a great destination to go to, uh, very warm. Uh, it's, uh, the hotels are being very, very careful with uh, all the, you know, making sure everything is clean. They do the COVID test before you come back to the US. So it's, it's just a, it's a great time to travel though. Um, the airports were busy, let's put it that way. Yeah, and Deb, we're seeing a lot of uh, cruise uh, line stories lately. There's almost uh, new updates every week in the news cycle with cruises and different lines. What are you hearing from the cruise lines right now? Well, like you said, every day we get a, a pretty much new update with cruise lines. Right now they're all saying if you want to sail, you do have to have uh, a vaccine and you will be tested three days before your cruise uh, to make you make sure you are negative. Because as you know, a lot of the cruises did sail, but they came back with people that were testing positive and those people had been vaccinated. So they are requiring that you do have the COVID test before you uh, get on the ship three days prior. And they are requiring you to wear masks in public areas. So that is, um, so if you are wanting to do a cruise, this is a good time to go on a cruise because they're only 40% full, but they are requiring that you be vaccinated. Another thing that we've heard a lot about, how people should actually bring the vaccine record with them, a physical copy. We know there's digital versions now you can have on your phone. Does that really matter? Should you have both available? What are your thoughts? I said, I suggest both uh, because we have had a lot of people leave the country and they actually had to uh, get the, it's, you know, how when you were getting your vaccine, they, the people that were given it handed you a vaccine card and they signed it. That's not the kind that they want because that was, they found too many were, were being uh, repli replicated. Uh, and so they, you have to go to DHEC and they will send you a digital copy that will be accepted uh, to show that you have been vaccinated. So that's gonna be the one that's accepted, not the kind that the doctor or the CVS or the Walgreens, actually when they gave you your vaccine, uh, signed off on. You do have to get the actual digital one and they'll mail it to you. Uh, you, can have, you can have it on your phone, but they prefer you have it printed out so they can actually see it. And Deb, what's fall travel looking like? What are, uh, are people being a little bit more leery now with this Delta variant? Have you seen it pick up? What's what's kind of the uh, the vibe right now in the travel well, world? I, I, right now, uh, all of our all of our tra people are still traveling. They're not letting that uh, bother them uh, with the variant. Uh, again, we just have to look at. We did have a, a group that 
did uh, had I mean we had to reschedule them the we had a uh, 80 people going to the Turks and Caicos which is in the Caribbean as everybody knows and uh, the, the government of Turks required everybody have a vaccine and that was in two weeks before we were to arrive well three-fourths of our group did not were, were not vaccinated now these people were not coming out of Greenville these were people coming from all over the United States and they were meeting up in Turks so we had to totally reschedule this group and the first available date we could get for this particular resort was 2023 wow. so it is um, yeah so people and people are having to be moved uh, especially groups so it is one of those um, as, as everybody knows, it is one of those things we you have to look at diligently where you're going, what's changed in the last week, and um, it's great to have a travel agent that you can call and say, okay, can you tell me if anything's changed? Because we try to stay on top of it, and I think we do. Yeah, it's a lot more, I think, difficult now to do it by yourself because there are so many restrictions and updates that most people don't know, so. Exactly. You've got the latest and scoop, And one thing, the airlines good. are. Go ahead. Exactly. And also, really one good thing, you know, the airlines are having so many schedule changes during this time, okay? Mm -hmm. True. And I had someone call over the weekend, and she was like, I know I'm not traveling till November, but I think I've got a schedule change. I said, yes, you do. I said, but, you know, you're probably going to have a couple of more before you, we get there. But, you know, on, uh, I told her, I said, well, on Tuesday, I'll give you your update, and we'll just keep, you know, we'll just watch it, uh, you know, and, and we'll send you the update. Um, so you'll have it, you know, the most current would be a week before you travel, obviously. Just but, patience. You know, and again, I told her, I said, yeah, you, you really do. And she told me she tried to call the airline and she held for two hours. And I said, yes, you will. Yeah. And <laughs> so it is better just to give us a call because you can get right through to us. And we can, you know, we pretty much have access at our fingertips. Well, Deb, always great to have you on here. So uh, thanks so much. You can watch more of this interview, yeah. too, if you missed any of it, on our YouTube page and at foxcarolina.com. Deb, yeah. thanks so much. Thanks, Deb. Thank you.